Hey everybody, this video here is an update on how to fix your blue screen wheat uncorrectable error for Windows 10. I've already made a video fixing this before, which has around 20,000 views, and I found a new solution, or I should say I was given a new solution that works even better. So in my older video, I had you go into your CPU power management and turn off turbo. And that seemed to correct the issue when my computer kept crashing and blue screening whenever I used Adobe After Effects, Adobe Premiere, or any kind of high power CPU software that just used a lot of power and kind of spiked it. And I noticed my, my computer would just shut it down and blue screen. So turning off the turbo worked for me. And for the last year, I've had the turbo turned off. But I've noticed obviously it makes your computer a little slower and having your turbo turned off means like your computer's not running at its full potential. So luckily I got a comment on that video from an IT guy. Um, I'll link his name here. And he gave me three steps you should do to fix this. Basically three steps to walk through to fix the blue screen um, uncorrectable error without turning off your CPU turbo mode. I now have my turbo mode turned on and I followed his three steps and I have not had a blue screen in the last two weeks. So I really wanted to test it for you guys and see how it worked. But I know that video has a lot of views, my old one on correcting it. So hopefully those people come over and they see this solution so we can now use our turbo and use our computer better, but avoid these blue screens. So let's walk through it. A heads up before we do this, when we go into our CPU settings, it's going to turn off our computer. So you should either have these written down or be watching this on your phone. So if you're on your PC now, either try to remember these steps or open it up on your phone so you can watch it there because your computer is going to shut down when it opens up these settings. To get to our CPU settings, search settings in our search bar here, go to updates and securities. And then from here, you're just going to follow these steps, but I'm going to go into recovery, hit restart now and then follow along the steps on the screen here. All right, now we're in our CPU settings and we can change our power management and everything like that. But the first setting you need to do is go down to our defaults and click optimize defaults. I believe when anyone makes a computer for you or you purchase a computer, this is probably a step they need to take and I'm guessing the people who built my computer, because I got pieces and got them to build it, did not click this. So that is what screwed me for all these blue screens for so long. So I just click that and you'll see a bunch of settings pop up saying it's gonna do these. For me, I've already done this, so it's not saying the settings, but one of the settings was turning turbo on because I had it turned off before. So step one, optimize default BIOS. After that, the next two steps are very simple and they actually were already um, turned on or in the right positioning for me. The next step was going to your Q fan controls and make sure each fan was set to auto. You do not want them set to PWM mode. So I just want a one fan, change it to auto, two fan, change it to audio or auto, I should say, just like that. Super simple. And mine were already on auto. So I knew that wasn't the issue. And then next we have to follow along directions to find our PCH DMI ASPM which is a, a mouthful, but I'll, I'll walk you through on at least my software, how I got there. You might have to dig around trying to find it for yourself, but I'm gonna go now into my advanced mode, find the advanced tab, find platform, misc, configuration. And there you can see I have my PCH DMI ASPM and it is disabled. And that's what we want is to make sure it's disabled. So those are the three steps the IT guy on my last video gave me for me. My PCI was already disabled and my fans were already set to auto. So really it was just optimizing the default on the first page that fixed it for me. Now I've been running this for two weeks and I've had no blue screen and my turbo is turned on and my computer seems to be running great. So let me know if this worked for you. And if you guys like simple videos like this, or maybe you're interested in video editing, my channel focuses on video editing for video game montages and for people who are into freelance working from home. I know a lot of people are working from home right now. So I have a lot of videos on how you can work from home since I've been doing it for over a year now working as a freelance video editor and I can walk you through the steps there. But if you're just looking to fix your blue screen, I hope that helped. Thumbs up means a lot and have a great day.